How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mass of Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of dry hot pilsner time in the form of Hanging Hills Brewing. It's their Hills Pills. Um, this is a 5.5% alcohol by volume dry hopped pilsner. Done and done. Doesn't say anything else on here. This can be uh, just a skosh over two months old. I'm okay with that. Dry hot pills can fall off a little bit quick, but we'll see what's what. This can comes from courtesy of Tyler. Never heard of this brewery before, but I assume they're up towards his way, up Connecticut, New England area way, and we'll see what's what. So you're talking about a dry hopped pilsner. Um, let's see where are these guys are located. And oh, Hotford, Connecticut. And um, yeah, I mean, she definitely looks like a pills can. Is actually cool. Very basic. I just dig the kind of combination of that yellow gold mustard and the black. Kind of a kind of a background, very cool, you know, do tone kind of vibe works for me. And uh, yeah, I mean, she looks like a pilsner. She's more of a chill haze on her glass than anything else. Soft carbonation, um, yellow as yellow could be. Not much of a head on her, so she looks the part of a pilsner for sure. Let's see how that dry hopping comes off. I mean, she's a pilsner. She definitely has those nice kind of sulfury lager vibes. Uh, a little bit of kind of almost like a light struck to it. Which is kind of weird because you don't think about light struck when it comes to cans. So there's a little bit of skunkiness going on. Not overly sweet, but not overly bittering. It just really does smell like it's kind of a slightly more expressive, more in the skunky realm of things. Both lager yeastiness and kind of skunky hoppiness kind of pilsner. So it's a little bit more aggressive outside of your typical pilsner. But not in areas you would think. Thinking dry hopping, you think hop expressiveness. Not really getting that here. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's delicious. I mean, crisp as crisp could be. A little bit of nutty, crackery malt on the edge of that Pilsner. It works quite nice. That bittering is actually way bigger than you would think based off of the nose. But it's not over the top. But it's a little bit more aggressive. So, you know, dry hopped, sure. Not what you'd expect from... Your typical can that says dry hopping on it, but the way that malt comes off, the way that cracker, crackery nutty thing kind of combines to add a really sexy kind of flavor profile to the malt, while at the same time not being malty, not being heavy, still staying crispy, super drinkable, super clean, a lager through and through, with that little extra pop of bittering. So I wouldn't actually call it like a dry hopped Pilsner. Um... I guess you could because technically you're dry hopping it, so it's not like it's missing the mark. But it's just a notch above what your typical Pilsner would give you on a bittering front. And that's pretty much it, done and done. And honestly, I'm not going to sit here and kind of pull punches. That's kind of what you want when it comes to a Pilsner. Sure, I like fucked with beers. I like when people take Pilsner and kind of go kooky with them. There's nothing wrong with that. When you're talking about a dry hop Pilsner, what I really expect is... A Pilsner with just a bit more kind of volume on the hops. I'm getting it here. Sure, not in the more traditional sense that people think about when it comes to hops nowadays, but same time, I think it's tasty, chuggable, drinkable. Not a bad beer. Uh, so let's talk about it as one of the better Pilsners. Let's just throw it right in the mix. A Pilsners that I've had as of late. Uh, it's worthy of the conversation. It's not number one. It's not King Shit of Fuck Mountain. It's not Mount Rushmore, but at the same time, I think it's made really well. The taste comes off a little bit more... Um, approachable a little bit more drinkable than the nose for me but at the same time yeah this is something i definitely want kind of a couple four packs for for a nice outing value and availability no idea never heard of hanging hills before so anybody up in the hot for the area or tyler or anybody out there let me know what's what when it comes to price and availability on this and leave you with if you like what will you like this if you like joggers if you like Pilsner, if you like a little bit of hop expression if you like crispy boys if you like joggers this is going to do you proper because that's what this beer is and it's not trying to put out airs. It is a Pilsner with a little extra aggressive hoppiness in a very, very fun way. So if you dig that, you'll dig this beer. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out through the social media stuff. Beer Massive. Want to check me out through the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of a, yeah, Pilsner goodness right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.